What's good, everybody? It's Kajo Gaming, and we're back with some more content. What did you expect? We're back with our Project Zomboid. It's early in the morning. We just finished our show, and uh, we just gathered a bunch of fresh food. We made ourselves a nice little burger, which I'm pretty hype about. I still don't understand why we couldn't like add to some of our burgers um just to check cooking one more time before we head out already contains meat so we can add to this burger again uh the cheeseburger needs a meat patty but then it goes away. And I'm not sure why that's the case. Um, but we have three burgers. So that's cool. Really what we need to find. And kind of desperately. Is. Uh, some, some gas. We need to fill up our two gas cans. We needed to get back into that car. Probably going to have to end up breaking uh, that window for the car. Um, but let's go ahead and read this mechanic magazine and then we'll go ahead and drop it Probably fill up our water bottle. We're looking pretty good on it Carpentry brook we can probably just get rid of um, Because we're probably gonna have another carpentry show and I'd rather get started on some foraging before that show comes on Unless we ended up missing it. I'm hoping that's not the case. Um, so let's go ahead and drop off this carpentry book, drop off the manual, everything else we'll hold on to, and then did we ever check this car if it had gas? I feel like we did. Um, we took all the fresh food out of the store. There are some more cooking ingredients in there. I'm not too worried about it. We could check these houses to see if they have cars. Uh, there is a car wreck down here. And this road looks a little empty. So maybe we'll go ahead and check that first. We need gas. Gas is definitely a game changer for that helicopter event. As we've seen. Shoulders are a little fuzzy this morning. I scoot in. Is that going to help it? Uh, it helped. It helped. Just gotta sit closer to the camera. Alright, so we th see three in this field. Uh, here's a random body. Let's try and get their attention. All of these windows are broken. Not seeing any cars in the driveway. Uh, so we do have to make sure that we're checking behind us around these houses. Um, a lug wrench will take you. You have rope in there. A roadblock. Uh, the car door is not open. Makes me a little nervous to turn my back. I think that one's actually coming. Yeah. Let's not play it risky. Let's not play it risky to start things off. Uh, machete is under half condition, so this thing breaks extremely quick. Um, apparently this is one of the highest damage items in the game. I gotta disagree. I feel like when we were using it yesterday, it was taking hella swings. So, uh, I'm gonna disagree with that statement. Make sure none are coming out of the house behind us. We'll take this last zombie out and then check these cars, see if we can siphon any gas. Take them out nice and easy. Please have gas, one of you. No gas in you. Uh, your trunk is locked and we open you. No. Apparently, all the car doors are locked in this game. Makes sense. Makes sense. 
A hundred percent gas. Uh, siphon gas. Fill all of our gas cans. Now, I'm not a huge fan of having to break the window in our car that's sitting in our driveway. But we're going to have to do what we got to do in order to get a car this early on. I'm going to pray that the helicopter event happens early in the morning and not uh, midday, evening, or night. That would be most ideal for us. Um, but now that we got that done real quick, we're definitely going to go take this to our vehicle, probably smash open that window, and get her started. So let's go check it out. Uh, we do have that annotated map that I kind of wouldn't mind going back in that direction like we did last time. Because uh, we got the same annotated map that we checked out in our last run. Sadly, that run did not last very long. But it's because we got caught out trying to get gas for our car to use for the helicopter event. And then got hit by the helicopter event. Crazy. Crazy how that turned out for us. Unlucky. We were getting so much good loot. So much. Now this has a back door. Does it not? So. Smash rear left window. I'd actually try and do the opposite side. Lock is broken on the back. Maybe we'll just do the back. Boom. Hop on, on in there. We need to switch to the driver's seat. We need to unlock the car. Oh. We can't. I'm confused. Is it locked now? That's weird. Door locks. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and add gasoline. We'll just add one can for now. See what our gas tank's looking like after a full gas can. I think it gives us a quarter, right? At least it did in our first run when we hit the gas station. Um, let's go ahead and hotwire you. Uh, that did not work. Try you again. We're gonna get it eventually. I'm gonna keep trying. Boom. Turn on the engine. Perfect. And that almost gave us a half tank. Um, we have a gas can in both hands. That's kind of crazy. Double fisting the gas cans. So that's how bad we need gas. Alright, well, if anything, we can start filling up our trunk, um, because if push comes to shove, and the helicopter event hits, and we can't get back home, we'll be able to live out of our car. Um, and I feel like that's going to be pretty important. Uh, we don't have much canned food. So what we do have, we'll put some of you in the car along with some extra water. I'm kind of tempted to put a gun in there too. Because um, we could always use our gun and then drive off. If we really wanted to. All of you in the trunk. Now our trunk only has 31 units. 
compared to our first car i believe had like 101 102 so we can't fit nearly as much into the car but we can um store stuff in the seats and stuff so if we look in here I feel like the shotgun's the best way to go, and we'll take the loaded one. Got five shots in it. Other shotgun we'll leave in here, and then we have our pistol, and then our rifle in our front. Um, so the pistol we're carrying on us, the rifle stays by the front door, and we do need shotgun shells. Um, I would rather put you inside the car if we can. Uh, that way we can easily grab it while inside the vehicle rather than having to swing by our trunk. And we have about an hour until the noon show. So I think it's best if we just stick around the area. Clear out any stragglers that we might see. I don't think we fully looted this house yet. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to start boarding up our windows um what do we have hammer screwdriver do we not have a saw yet we must not so that's something that we need to find uh duct tape let's go ahead and drop you off first And then we'll put the lug wrench in the car. And then we'll just stick around the area. But once this noon show hits and we watch it. Probably going to have to go find a saw somewhere. Uh, we know we have some sheds back here. So we could start clearing out towards this area. And maybe one of the sheds will have a saw for it. Uh, we do have this truck we have a shovel right here with a pipe wrench by this little construction zone i mean we'll take it free weapons on the ground heck yeah dude full condition full condition pipe wrench heck yeah dude we'll take it uh we can get in the truck the truck's apparently already on. We have the key for it. Box of nails we need. A Louisville map we'll take. Duct tape. Leather gloves. Can always take this just to disassemble it. Anything in your trunk. Toolbox. Duffel bag. A gravel bag. Okay. Now, I don't think the condition of this vehicle is very good. Looks like it was in an accident, um, but our show is about to start. Go ahead and sprint home. You don't want to miss our show. Alright, doesn't look like we're missing anything. Let's read our book. We got a nice little sprint in for the morning. Uh, sprinting is at 20 out of 75. Let's see what we learn. I'm hoping it's carpentry. So we can go ahead and start on that second book. Uh, this is the truck key can't transfer you over because we're in the middle of an action it is carpentry boom so we need to find carpentry level two start leveling that up the good thing is is we're getting some nice multipliers on foraging before uh we start watching that Don't really need an, uh, the cookbook level one because we're getting pretty close to that. If we watch one more show, we should level up regardless of having the boosted XP. I wouldn't mind trying to find a trapping book before the trapping show comes on. 
I don't know if that's gonna happen though. Uh, let me just do a quick scan of our bookshelves. Electrician, foraging. Okay, farming volume two. So it might be worthwhile to try and hit that school early on. I just wanna check the condition of this car and I wanna try and board up some of our windows before this helicopter event comes in. But if anything, it'll help keep our house protected if we have to abandon it for the time being. I don't want to make myself too exerted by running everywhere. So let's go ahead and check the condition of this car. Mm. This car is horrible. This truck is a beat up. All right, let's see what these garages look like. Let's see if we can find a saw. Probably be sneaking. Although this area looks pretty clear. The door open. No. Is the window open? You can do it. Okay. Looking good. Go ahead and close that behind us. Double barrel shotgun, a red dot, and a recoil pad. Jeez. Another empty gas can. I mean, it can't hurt. Duct tape, plank, metal pipes. We'll take these two things. Uh, we have a mechanics level one and two. Take those. Take the tire pump. We have another annotated map. Where is this for? March Ridge. Don't use guns. Stuff you can use as weapons here. Medical Center. And apparently it's quiet up here. Probably not by the time we get there. If we ever make it there. Um, but those were some decent finds. Key can go on the key ring. This door's broken down. There's another shed back there that I'd like to check. Uh, food on the counter. Assuming that's going to be stale or rotten by this point. I'm actually kind of surprised at how clear this area is. Certainly not complaining. We'll take it. This shed does not have any windows so if this door doesn't open we can't get in it not gonna open that's a little disappointing back door won't open That's the store. All right, downstairs looks clear. Front door opens. Question is, is anybody home upstairs? Uh, adhesive tape, forging, don't really need the cookbook, but I guess I'll take it. We do need the eraser. We need to find a fanny pack. Um, extra roasting pan, sure. Extra kettle for water. Take the canned goods because we're pretty short on those at the moment. Uh, we could only pick up one. I did notice that. Doesn't seem like anybody's coming downstairs. We'll take all the fresh food out of here. Fish fillet, stale but cooked. We'll go ahead and eat you real quick because we're a little hungry. Uh, this is just a cooking pot with water. We'll take you. Rest of the stuff, we'll just leave for the moment. 
Um, so that house still needs to be looted. It's a shame we couldn't get into that shed. Uh, but let's head back home and drop this stuff off. Not necessarily an empty trip. I feel like we found some decent stuff. That shovel and pipe wrench was nice just sitting on the ground there. Found a box of nails. Uh, so we could put one plank up. We found mechanics. Found some extra canned food that we can keep in our car. In case of emergencies. And things are feeling pretty good. Alright, we got one zombie here. We need to take out real quick. Be the only one that came towards this area. Rest of it's looking pretty clear. Uh, we have about three hours. Until our next show. A fridge. Strawberries. Margarine. Pickles. Pork chop in the freezer. Cooking pot with water. Um, Put two of you in here. Kettle will go in here. We won't fill it up at the moment. Uh, we need to empty some of this stuff. Roasting pan. We have some extra weapons. Probably put one of the weapons in the car. Um, we'll keep the shovel in the car, I think. Cooking and our mechanics books in here. Uh, we'll keep this... No, that's the annotated map we want. Put that one in there. Uh, this Louisville map, we can go ahead and get rid of. Gas can, we'll keep in the shed. Or in the closet, because we already have one. Or we have two in the car. Piece of tape. Blank. Duct tape. Walkie-talkie, box of nails, tire pump, and shovel Shovel go in the car. We're getting a little drowsy. My trunk's filling up quickly. Uh, so let's start making our way towards the school real quick. See how it's looking on the outside? I don't think we'll head in at all, depending on how clear it is. But we'll at least check it out from the outside and see if we can spot where the library is. See if we can pick up some books. Shoulder's starting to fade again. Alright, let's see how down here is looking. Move it nice and slow for the time being without exerting ourselves. Alright, this is going to be a classroom, no library there. All these windows are busted open. It looks like a hallway. No, this is like a lunchroom? Cafeteria? Another classroom. Going by these trees makes me nervous. Classroom, that kind of looks like the principal's office. Some type of office. Oh, jeez. Oh, that scared me. Why'd it make that noise? Why'd they have to hit me with the jump scare? Alright, they have an upstairs. I'm really hoping that the library is not upstairs. This looks like the library. 
The library is actually pretty close to the front. There's a lot of zombies in there though. Let's make sure those don't come behind us. All these zombies that are going to pour out from the noise of breaking that window, we'll go ahead and take out real quick. Got another one knocking on that window. Only a matter of time before that breaks. Uh, we have a bad kid. Bad kid with cigarettes. Unless I was a teacher and they were just stressed out. Could be the case. Why is my shoulder fading like that? Let me go ahead and fix that. Alright, should be better now. Wait for them to break down the window. Alright, two more are coming out. Take them out real quick. Why is everybody wearing the shell suits? Was that the style for these kids? Alright, we have an hour to get back. Everyone's well wearing a shell suit jacket. Or a jumpsuit. We have at least two more in here. Saw them trying to break down that door. At least three more. Four more. I thought we drew their attention. And then we have one on the backside at least. One's coming out. Take them out real quick. And then we'll probably just leave it at that for now. This group's starting to move over a little. Um, so we'll try and get some better books for us tomorrow. I think that's going to be pretty important for us. Level up our skills early while we can. Uh, let's go ahead and head back home. We can go ahead and crouch sprint. We're already starting to feel a little exerted. Make sure nobody follows us home. Surrounding area looks pretty clear for us. Not going to worry about our exertion because we're probably just going to stay home for the rest of the night. Um, but the area around our house is looking pretty clear at the moment, which is good news. Gives us some time to jump on out of there without getting swarmed, especially with our new vehicle with gas in it. All right, nothing we really need to put away. Sit on the ground. Go ahead and read some more of our foraging book. And wait for this show to start. See what we learn this evening. See if it's anything useful. I wouldn't mind getting cooking, but it's going to be exposure survival. Is this going to be foraging? If so, we'll get some boosted XP for it. Is this not going to teach us anything? It's just giving us boredom for now. It's just telling us how to make a campfire, which doesn't necessarily count towards any of our skills. At least it helps with our boredom, because we were starting to get a little bored because we ate that fish fillet. That was stale. Maybe there'll be another show after this? Or is that the end of it? This is an ad for Green's Grocery. Don't think we're getting a skill show today. Um, so let's just go ahead and fast forward. We also need to wash ourselves before bed. Can't forget that. Because we have our fear of blood. 
No. Oh. We went with a different build this time. I didn't even realize that. We were just going through our presets. So we have Slow Learner. Slow Reader. Pacifist. Burglar. Cat Eyes. Dexterous. Graceful. Inconspicuous. Out of Shape. And Underweight. Alright. Well, let's see how this character goes. We don't even have the fear of blood, so we don't necessarily need to wash ourselves. Let's eat the remainder of this burger. We got new traits, y'all. Didn't even realize it. That's cool. Uh, let's read some more of our book. At least until 20, maybe 2030. Make sure our alarms are set for the morning. I was wondering why we weren't getting anxious this run. Because I feel like we haven't washed ourselves very often. We have some good traits though. Uh, slow learner is a little tough. Our skills level up slower. Slow reader, it takes us longer to read books. Pacifist, we do less damage with weapons. So, it does kind of make, make sense why our machete wasn't hitting as hard as I expected. Burglar, you guys know what that does. Cat eyes, we can see better in the dark. Um, dexterous, that should help with our sneak. Graceful, we should make less noise when we move. Inconspicuous, you guys know what that does. Out of shape and underweight. Underweight should also mean that our hits um, are weaker and our pushes are weaker. And then out of shape is going to affect our fitness. So I believe normally we start with level 5 fitness and strength. Because we're out of shape, we only start with level 4 fitness. Which fitness and strength take a long time to level up. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep for the night. What day are we on? We're about to be on day four. So we got some time before the helicopter event. Hopefully. Slept all the way to the alarm. So we got a good night's rest. See if we can try and finish this book. And see what we learned this morning. A cook shell nice so we should be able to finish our foraging book before we uh, see that episode we've only leveled up our long blade by 7.4 and our conditions halfway gone ridiculous maintenance getting up there sprinting's now at 27 it was just at 20 last time we checked right at the beginning of the episode Teaching us how to make a BLT. It's God's gift to bread. Protection's looking good. Temperature looking okay. It is raining outside. We've only killed 94 zombies. About to level up, then we can start reading cookbook level 2, which means we can get rid of that uh, cookbook level 1. Alright, this is going to be an ad. Dang, we didn't level that up. That's disappointing. Um, can we add to this burger again before we start eating it? Yes, we can. Go ahead and add lettuce. I don't know why it's like bugging out for our burgers. Uh, add lettuce. 
add pickles dude this burger is about to be fire uh double meat patty all right and that's gonna be it let's go ahead Which one's our double meat patty? I think this one, right? Because it gives more hunger. If you hover over it, it shows what it contains. So this is our double, double meat patty. Put you back in the fridge. Gotta eat those corn dogs too. But we don't want to cook too much before that food starts going stale. It is pretty dark because of the rain. Weather's pretty uh, horrible right now. This should wash the dirt and blood off of us, though. Um, a little scary to go out right now. A little bit scary. It's pretty dark. It's actually very dark. I kind of don't want to do this. I'm going to be honest. That's a little scary to me. So, uh, we're just going to snuggle up in the warm weather. And keep reading. I think we're pretty prepared for the helicopter event. As long as we got gas in our car. I'm happy. Not going to complain too much. I think we can fast forward, see if we can get the rain to stop. At least have the day brighten up a little bit. If not, we'll stay here until lunchtime, until our show. I wouldn't mind natural, like, disaster events in this game like tornadoes or uh flooding would be kind of cool i don't know how you would deal with that stuff but it'd be cool be cool to experience that i'm sure there's like mods for it or something we're about to finish our foraging book let's go ahead and triple time speed it 9.30 and it looks like the weather has not let up yet. Um, We can read farming because we might get another farming show. I'm going to try and stick with all of our books that include experience that we can get from our shows. We can't get mechanics from the show. Uh, so let's start reading this farming book. Help us with that second level because we already have level one. Sit you on the ground. Let's triple time speed it for a little bit. Slow reader is kind of a tough perk to have if we're trying to focus on books. Uh, let's go ahead and slow down time by standing up and get ready to see what we learn on this next show. Uh, the rain is starting to die down finally. So maybe this afternoon we can go out. The Voice of Progress. Is this a campaign ad? I hunt, I shoot, I fish. I see nature all around and it's clear, it's clear, it's as God intended. We spend our time testing the land around us. Make sure the military testing 30 long years ago. To protect our country. What kind of military testing? Was as safe as we always thought it was. Know what? Kentucky's as safe a place to live as it is beautiful. Vote for Cal Fair. Yep. Vote for progress. A campaign ad. Political. Message by the Republican Party. Um, maybe at one point. Maybe at one point it was a beautiful place to live. Um, now it's infested. The capital. The capital of Kentucky. 
Louisville is infested. The population is dead. So, uh, don't think it's a great place to live anymore, my guy. Should probably retire. Alright, we're learning some more carpentry. Sadly, we're not getting the boosted XP from it. Um, it'll help level it up a little bit, though. We're already a quarter through this book, basically. Um, with the rain dying down, should be able to go outside pretty safely. Yeah, that's not giving us mu much XP. Only giving us like 9 per tick. A little less than 9. Till next time, my dude. Woodcraft. Alright. Let's eat some food in the fridge. Go ahead and eat this corn dog. We'll finish off the meat, meat patty. It's only going to give us three hunger, so there's not a lot left at all. Um... These strawberries are getting stale, so let's go ahead and open those. Can we put strawberries on our burger? No, we can't. That's okay. That was probably going to be nasty anyways. Uh, let's eat one. Alright, our hunger's gone. Rain is done. Forging we can throw away, Louisville map, and the sack. We'll get rid of all of you. Into the trash can you go. Free up some weight. Everything else we're going to hold on to. Leather gloves we can put away, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Who is this? Oh, I thought a cat was under me. They were not. I think Houston's chilling on the bed. Probably Enzo too. That's his favorite spot. And uh, Maverick's probably chilling in the living room. Because he doesn't like company. Only sometimes. He's an introverted cat. For sure. He likes doing his own thing. Alrighty, let's see if the zombies have moved since we've passed quite a bit of time since we've last been in this area. We'll also have to check out what that group in that intersection is doing. I just want to get in the library. I could care less about the rest of the school. I mean, cafeteria could be good, but we're not struggling on fresh food. Alright, one more came out. This group's moving a little closer. I don't know if it's necessary to take them out. We're drawing a second one out. That's good. Another shell suit outfit. Apparently that was uh, bussin' at the time. Doesn't this game take place in like the 80s or something? I guess that makes sense. Y'all 80s kids were weird. I'm just kidding, y'all. Don't take offense. It was a joke. Calm down. Alright, we got you back on the ground. Finished all you off. I'd say that's pretty great progress for clearing this out. I don't think we have a Riverside map yet. We'll take the walkie-talkie. To level up our electrician skill. I just want to make it through the front door. I think they're far enough away. We have a few in this classroom. You on the back door. Front door's open. Do 
You're gonna start banging on that door. No? This could get very dangerous very quickly. Um, so first things first, before they start flooding through the upstairs and through that back door, go ahead and open up this door. And start taking these two out. Alright, they broke one window. Have another Louisville map. We have a key. No idea where that would go. He's gonna break that window in no time, I'm sure. I'm just nervous from them for them to start piling from upstairs. Gonna break that window eventually. The door's right here. We can just make it there. Come on, bro. Just break the, break the glass already. Alright, yep. They're starting to flood through. That's quite a few down that hall. If we can clear this out, though. A good amount. We'll take it nice and easy. If we can't reach the library before our show. Not a huge deal. I'd rather stay alive. Because then none of it's going to matter anyways. They broke through that window at the same time. What are the odds? Might want to use our machete a bit here. Yeah, I don't like the angles you guys are coming at. Alright, finish you off. Stop you from getting up. You three are down. Another kiddo's coming. We have more keys. You guys are all students. Why do you have houses? Your parents were loaded, weren't they? Parents were loaded. Because uh, I'm pretty sure this is a high school. You guys should not be working jobs to afford your own houses. Unless your parents gave you a key. Maybe that's the case. Maybe I'm just getting ahead of myself. Alright, nothing in the school bag. We got some zombies in these classrooms. I don't know how clear the library is. I just need some good books. I'm not going to worry about anything unless there's an, uh, a pencil. Or skill books at the moment. I don't know if anybody's on the back side of these bookshelves. Doesn't look like it. Think we're good? Okay. What do we need? Skills. We definitely need electricians one. Metalworking one. Um, hold off on that stuff. Unread. Ooh. Improvised splint and improvised bandage. That's from a mod. Cool. Already read that. Uh, we do need carpentry level 2. Mince corpse in a fertilizer? What the heck? Uh, we might need fishing too eventually. Depending on how much we get from watching the shows. Uh, tailoring level 1. We still got some time until the show comes on. Already read that. Cooking volume 3 we'll take. I think we still need cooking volume 2. Uh, we already know how to make a smoke bomb. How to use generators. Medical magazine. Improvise meds. Make metal walls and metal roofs. We have mechanics too. We should at home. I 
Okay. Uh, metal sheets. Hunter magazine. All right, we got some kiddos in that classroom. Uh, make duct tape, make wood glue, paper mache, paper mache sword. All right, these new magazines are pretty cool. I think we just picked up that magazine. Um, still need cooking level two, don't th don't we? Uh, metal containers, make a timer, teaches herbal remedies, cooking volume two, perfect, first aid volume one, uh, trapping, see if we can read that before our show comes on, now we're just kind of looking for magazines because I think we have all the books we need. A suture, improvised antibiotics, mildew cure, and fly cure, uh, motion sensors, we already have that, metal containers we have, uh, we just picked that up, I think we're good, I think we have all the books we need at the moment means we're probably done with the school for the time being uh, so let's get out this joint I feel like oh yeah it is back to raining hard and it is hard to see um, I cannot see anything so let's get home as quickly as possible We got a bunch of magazines we can read tonight. We got all our skill books that we'll be needing. Feeling pretty good. Why is it so hard to see? So much for cat eyes, right? I wouldn't even be able to tell if a zombie was following us. I'll be honest with y'all. I mean, I can kind of see, but looks like we're in the clear. Alrighty, all you books. Can go on the bookshelf. We're reading farming. Is that, I mean, we can't read our cookbook, second cookbook yet. Could read carpentry. I feel like that could be a little more important than farming. At least early game. We're kind of focused on early game right now. Um, I don't want to rush into and focus on end game because we're on our third try. So uh, probably more important to focus on early game here. Show should start in 10 minutes. Exposure survival. Is this going to be foraging or is this going to be trapping? Please be foraging. Yes. Look how quickly we're leveling up. Our first tick was 26. We might even hit level two with this. Three ticks and we already leveled up. So it's definitely, definitely worth trying to read these books before the show comes on. Huge bonuses we're getting. Yeah, that was pretty big. And it was a short show. So definitely worth doing. Water bottles empty. Out of principle, we're going to wash ourselves. Out of principle. We don't want to be dirty. We don't want to be covered in zombie blood. That sounds disgusting. Let's wash ourselves. 
keep up with our hygiene as much as we can. I'm pretty sure if you're clean uh, when you have wounds, I believe that's really the only thing it affects if you don't have a trait. Um, but if you have wounds, it should help with infection if you're clean. We do have a plank, so we could just put up one board if we wanted to. Uh, we didn't start getting drowsy until 640. That's a good sign. Uh, we need to keep up with our sleep schedule, which means we probably need to go to sleep around 2130 again. I think that's what time we went to sleep last night. Uh, we can fast forward. This might take a little bit. We haven't cleaned ourselves in a while. Our stuff's probably very dirty. Go ahead and eat something out of the fridge after this, and then we'll read our book until the end of the night. Try and get carpentry up to level 4 as quickly as possible. So that we can start building walls and such. We don't have anything else to put on these burgers, right? It doesn't look like it. Is there anything else that we're worried about going stale? I mean, strawberries are stale. We don't have a bowl in here yet. We need a bowl so we can make like a fruit salad. Uh, so let's just eat the burger for now. We'll eat half of it. Probably need to use that bread soon. Um, we'll just go in the bedroom. Sit on the ground. Read some more carpentry. Read until about 21.30. And then we'll go to bed for the night. Should also make sure our alarm's on. Uh, but we are going into day five. And our skills are looking pretty good. We have a decent amount of gas in our car. We have some extra supplies in our car. Do have to read all these magazines. Um, but I don't think we should be super pressed by it. Um, I think what's more important is reading these skill books while we have TV. Afterwards, we can start... Uh, getting those magazines read but we're not in a rush to make any of the things that it has to offer please sleep till our alarm again 4 30 why why'd you wake up so early um i believe there's a couple more carpentry shows that we'll get I wouldn't mind another cooking show just so we can hit that level. Uh, our multiplier is only one right now. Um, but I'd like to start getting a multiplier for cooking because we do that pretty often. Especially early game while all the food is still fresh. So it'd be nice to level that up quickly while we can. Because once the food starts to rot and stuff, it's going to be a lot harder. Plus when the power and water shut off gonna be really hard to cook until we start farming um but for that we're gonna need to get settled forgot to turn off the alarm that's okay should be pretty safe this is gonna be another cooking show let's get that baby up to level two let's go uh we're about a third of the way done with our book i might switch over to cooking for the time being not quite sure where we want to go with that. See you tomorrow, friend. I am a cow. I am here to tell you something mootiful. Something ice creamy. Come to Churn R Us. Enjoy ice cream from ev our very own Daisy Dairy. Feel the most nutritious taste explosion known to man. This, this is the message of the cows. Turn our us, arms above your head. Say, yay. Okay, that's an interesting slogan. Can't say it's my favorite one. 
Uh, burger, let's eat the rest of you. Should only be another day or two before we hit the helicopter event. But before we start today, we are going to go ahead and end the episode here before we get invested into the day. As always, I appreciate y'all for stopping by, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, peace out, y'all.